So today I'm going to be showing you how to make pizza dough without using a stand mixer. First thing you want to do is make sure you get water about 3 quarters cup between 110 and 115 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to dump that in our bowl. Dump our yeast in. You want a tablespoon of sugar. We're going to let that work. It should mix itself, but we're just going to give it a little bit of a stir. And then you want to let this sit for about five minutes, and when we come back, it'll be nice and frothy. All right, so after about five or ten minutes, your yeast is going to clump up and have froth like this. And then we're going to take two cups of bread flour. Now you want bread flour because it's a lot finer and it's a lot better for this. We might have to add a little more. Two cups isn't exact and we could gram measure it out, but honestly, you're going to have to play around with it to get it the way you need it anyway. So we're going to start with that though. And then we're just going to mix it in. Now you want to get as much off as you can because you don't want to add that yeast all over your fingers and stuff. And we could be using a spatula or a spoon. It does work sometimes, but you're not going to be able to squish it the way you need to. And this is old school dough making anyway. And then after we get it good enough where it's pretty much coming off your fingers, and not really sticking. We're going to knead it for a while on here because you're going to get some of that stuff that's sticking to the bowl still on the inside that you're going to have to work in. And you just add as much flour as you need until you get it all worked in and it's not sticking anymore. Now I like to add some stuff in while I'm making my pizza dough. Obviously some Italian seasonings real good, some Parmesan cheese. You can use the grated stuff or fresh and maybe even some mozzarella cheese. And then you also want to add in maybe a little olive oil, that's optional. But depending on how you want your crust to turn out, you can add olive oil in when you add your wet ingredients after the yeast has risen though. And then we're going to mix it up. It's going to start to get real nice and warm from that yeast. You can feel the yeast inside there being activated because yeast is an actual live organism. So we're just going to knead it in real good. And then we're going to coat it with some olive oil or some kind of spray like that in the bowl and cover it with a towel. As you can see, most of that came off by itself. So we're good there. Here's how much it is before it rises. We'll come back in about an hour and punch it down. All right, so as you can see, look how big. So I punched it, which I didn't get on camera because I messed up. But then you're gonna take it and you're gonna fold it up underneath like this. Put it back in the bowl, let it rise some more. You pretty much just wanna let it go till it plateaus. If you don't think it's growing anymore, then it's done. All right, so that's how it should look when it's done. Got it nice and fluffy. You can go ahead and take it out, put it on your counter. Now you need to take a knife like this. You can rub some butter on both sides to cut it where it won't stick or spray it with a little spray, worst case scenario. And there you go. That is how you make pizza dough without a stand mixer. 